What's going on, people? Now, if you know me by now, you already know this video about to be fire, so you might as well just hit the like button coming in. <laughs> now, June 10th, 1974, a very interesting article was published saying that the Black Mafia was muscling in on a white mafia. Now, some dude out in Brooklyn they called Pee Wee set the bar. He wasn't trying to deal with a middleman, which was the Italians. He changed the game, and African Americans became bosses and didn't have to work for the Italians. Now, the Italians weren't going into black ghettos themselves. They would use blacks to push their product in those areas. Blacks began to disconnect and make more money when the opportunity presented itself. Now, for the new viewers, if you don't know who Pee Wee was, that was Frank Matthews. That was his nickname. Now, we all know about Frank Matthews and Nicky Barnes, but let's get into the unfamiliar names and faces. First, we have Harold Munger. Excuse me, Hollywood Harold Munger. He was a big shot. He was doing this thing out in Harlem. September of 1966, he was picked up and he offered law enforcement $100,000 to let him go. And of course, he was charged with bribery. You had William Abraham. He was a kingpin. He had grown men call him Jesus. He had connections to P. Diddy Father. I think P. Diddy Father was a part of his crew. I'm pretty sure they did business together. Tito Johnson was Dylan H. Staying under the radar while he was doing his thing. You had William Goldfinger Terrell. He was doing six years for tax invasion during this article. So when this article was published, he was already locked up doing his time for tax invasion. He had a hard time while serving his time because his wife was murdered when he was behind bars by another woman. And then when he was released, he wasn't in the streets for long. In 1978, he was shot nine times and dumped in a ditch. Now, they were saying it was the South American Connects that um, did that to him, I guess because he embarrassed them. But we'll get deep into that later. Errol Fadro, he was getting his work from guys like Frank Matthews, Nicky Barnes, and Frank Lucas. He was moving 15 to 20 kilos a week. You had Walter Grant. He started out getting work from the Italians, then he started getting money with his own people. He branched off. Now we had William Hamburger Hughley. He was under Nicky Barnes. He was part of his crew. He's actually the father of the rapper Loon. Yes. Rufus Boyd, he had a garage called the Supermarket where you could walk in and buy H. Now, and all these men had some type of motion going on. The Italians had to sit down to see what they could do about the blacks because, you know, blacks were causing them to lose money. You know, they could have went to war, but that doesn't make anything better. That just causes unwanted heat. And we all know that heat causes everyone to lose money. I mean, they did reach out to the blacks that did work for them about harming Frank Matthews. And, you know, the blacks told the Italians that he's well protected, and that's not a good idea. Blacks were leaving the Italians going to work for him, making way more money. Now, the only choice that the Italians had was to get the law enforcement involved. Get the competitors off the street by feeding them false information about blacks. That's not paying them. Nicky Barnes was doing his thing. Frank Matthews was doing his thing. The Italians' biggest competitors, so they had to put them under the same umbrella. They wanted the public to think they were ruthless animals. By that time, Nicky Barnes had the consul. So Barnes and Matthews' organizations were very sophisticated. Now, during the time, Italians had cops on their payroll. Cops were kidnapping and restoring Hispanics and African Americans. Some guys were even impersonating cops to get them off the streets. But when they couldn't get to the big fish, they decided to feed law enforcement and the media information, which led to this newspaper article. Now, this article was to scare the public, to show that the blacks are a danger to society. Now, what's scarier than the word mafia? Black mafia. But around this time, most public murders were hits that came from the Italians. So making the Italians look like victims in this article is actually hilarious. So the Italians did have Harlem on lock first at the beginning. They had it on lock. They also had blacks working for them. Then the blacks started to move on and take over. The Italians were supposed to feel some type of way. A lot of people make it a race thing, but it's really a monopoly. It wasn't a black or a white thing. It's a green thing. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Everyone leave a comment. Join the discussion. Hit the thumbs up. Check me out on Spotify. I'm out.